bed is the most important design factor in your van. What you do with your bed will pretty much define what you can do with the entire living space. Seeing as you guys loved the last video with 10 different bed designs, you can see the link here to that one, uh, we're gonna show you 10 more bed designs, all with their own unique advantages and disadvantages. I hope you enjoy. So this is my new van and I've been living in it now for six months. And when I designed this van, I really wanted to make sure that I had a table and sit in space for four people or more. Um, now that is obviously gonna conflict with an idea of an entirely huge fixed bed. And I also wanted a bigger bed. Now those two things don't necessarily uh, gel too well. Ginormous bed, bigger than before and bigger living space. However, I've solved that problem. So this is the living space and this is a bed. So this is a super king size fixed bed. And the way I make it so it can be a seat is I've made it a little bit modular. Um, as you can see under here, we have two sections. Now, when you cut off the end of a super king, it kind of makes it a double. So this sheet is a double normal sheet. I and mean, then I can take out this plug, this end part, and you can put it against the wall for your watching movies or whatever. Uh, and that gives me the seat, which is the other side of a table. So rather than changing the whole bed and moving the whole thing around, I just remove one piece and now I have a living room area. So it's the advantage of a fixed bed, it's always there. And the advantages of a non-fixed bed, you have a good seating area and the table comes in here. So as I put it in, you'll see at the ends, it's actually kind of housed. So it doesn't move out the end, it doesn't fall off. Um, and when you're sleeping, this part is only for your feet. So for your body, you've got your nice sheet and for your feet, you've got the cushion cover and it's basically totally fine. And when you're sleeping width ways, you literally have a full super king size bed, which is bloody amazing. As you can see, I've got an extra corner bed plug, which basically you don't really have to move that. I didn't have to lug a huge part out. So I just lift this up, take it out. And then under here, we have a 10 mil foam seat as well, cushion. So that's also wrapped. So basically this is the seat ready for the table. And very quickly you have seating, comfortable for four. We've had six around it and it's been totally fine. Uh, the table. I would say about a fixed bed, if you want to make your van feel spatially really nice, um, and to use it like a seat like system, the bed's got to be relatively low. Um, if you happen to buy the ebook, all of the measurements and designs are in the ebook, which will kind of give you the basic structure. So if you wanted to build something similar, all the measurements and details are there and it makes it very easy. I hope you enjoy the next nine designs. If you want to see any of the full videos of how to, how to build or fan tours for each of the respective beds, just look in the links in the description. So for our bed setup, we couldn't decide between having two couches or a permanent bed because there's advantages of both. We liked the idea of having the couches to hang out and work and eat um, and have the space feel more open, but we also didn't want to have to make our bed every night. So our solution was why not have both? So we made our top bed here using a Happy Jack bed lift system. Um, and so it, it's powered electrically and we can bring it up and down and we literally have a bed in five seconds. So to get up to our bed, we just step on the couch and then we're up here. So we had to make the bed frame ourselves because it didn't come with the Happy Jack system. Um, so we basically just bought a already made bed frame and adjusted the size to fit and then we used um, wood slats to go across um, to make the frame. And then our mattress is basically just six inches of foam and we had someone make it to the, the right size. So down here we have our couch set up. So we use this area to hang out and lounge. We also have our table here on a lagoon table mount so it can swivel around. And down here we can also convert this into a second bed so we can sleep up to four people. 
and we feel like it's pretty open back here even though we technically can't stand up um, we have you know all the windows back here and we just feel like it's nice and open Van, we have six seat belted seats obviously the driver and the passenger seat in the front and then this double one rear facing one forward facing seat all with integrated seat belts we have swivel seats in the front of the van here driver and passenger seats both turn around um, we've got overhead storage here for bedding and your clothes and there's storage up here for again bedding where these double seats turn into a double bed so you remove the seat belts and lift the seat, tilt it forward and then the back comes off, the seat comes out like this. Oh, Maddie, you need to go out a minute. This bed seat setup is made by a company called FASP, who are an Italian company. They make them for motorhomes and they're crash tested um, seats. Okay, here we have a triple bunk. Um, this is nearly six foot long, so we wanted it to suit small children and big children and adults occasionally. Um, down here in our bottom bunk um, we had the issue of the wheel arch inside so we have a dropout section here and an extra mattress that comes down to make this bed still big enough for an adult to sleep in and they all have reading lights and storage bags and there's space at the end of the bunk for smaller children to store all their belongings. Okay, they all have curtains on here so the children can go to sleep in peace if the adults want to sit up in the van and not go to bed yet. We decided to design our own camper van, um, but the biggest thing for us was wanting to use, like, maximise our space. So we decided to design a flip bed, which is what this is. So essentially, it's a bench that we can use for seating and obviously have our table set up so we can eat and it's our lounge area. But then when you remove the seats, we've actually got a flip design that so lifts up and fits and slots nicely right in front of the seats here and becomes a double bed this way. So we're lucky in that Fiat Cartos are quite long. Um, I'm five foot, nine and a half, <laughs> and Tom is six foot. So we can both sleep this way and it's all good. Um, but basically the flip bed means that we've got loads of space underneath so we can put all of our um, storage for all the bedding and actually we've got our kids mattresses which is also underneath and then our kids beds are made up like this. So when we want to get ready for bed we basically just remove the table which is just a pull off super super easy taking off this leg stowing it up here in the bulkhead which fits nice and easily remove our cushions all the pretty stuff now is getting removed and you're gonna see the real stuff underneath which is what it all hides that's the point right so, take off the throw. Now, there is a way of doing it where you can keep the cushions on the bed and do it, but I'm not very good at that. So, super easy. These are memory foam mattresses. Um, so basically one side is memory foam, which you sleep on, but the side you seat on, sit on isn't. So you just put the mattress there, fold it, and the other one on top. So you can see the kind of basic design of this now. This is what stops it from flipping down when we're driving. So you just unhook, pull it up, and flip it down. Underneath is the middle part mattress. So basically, these mattresses, as I say, the seating parts are not memory foam. So you flip it over, so you've got the memory foam side to sleep on, and then they basically join together with Velcro to make a double bed. So, easily going together like that. Now, had I been sensible, I would have got the other piece out, which fits here, but I wasn't. But that would make up the whole double bed. And it is the size of a small double. So basically, normal double bed, like quilts and sheets and everything, all fit on this. So it sleeps two adults really comfortably. 
if you co-sleep it's awesome because you can fit a little child in there as well which we did last night um but otherwise that's pretty much it and then that is your main bed we actually keep our kids mattresses under here as well and we've got one bed set up here but you would just do your kids beds first because obviously you want to get everything out from underneath before you do this bit so when you're putting it back up you literally take everything off and just it folds as it goes so you just want to make sure there's nothing in the way the curtain sometimes gets in the way and then back up it goes like that. so we basically utilize the two workshop areas for our children to sleep um, and we have these which are really cool because they're super lightweight they're actually a decent thickness and they feel really nice but basically they fold out to make the perfect size mattress I'd love to say this wasn't an accident, but um, turns out we were just uh, really lucky with the, the space that we've got. So this would be the mattress and obviously we would put the sheet on. Um, in this case, it's actually a single bed sheet, so it is too big, but you get the idea. And at this point, you've probably put your child on here too. Basically, we have these, which we designed and my friend made for us. Um, they've been through various uh, stages, but we finally decided the fabric ones were the best ones. So we've got two eyelets here and here and you basically just thread the pole through and then we have some eyelets in the ceiling and a velcro system so basically once your child is in bed you can just pull these down and you can pull them really tight and it's super strong velcro um, my kids thrash around in the night and they don't fall out which is a result and basically once they're in You've got a bed guard. So as I say, they're super comfortable mattresses. So the kids are actually really comfortable and want to sleep in them and they're excited to sleep in them. Um, we have the same on this side, but as I say, with this side, we would extend. So we'd lift this up, which clicks into place. And then we have a eyelet here now. Excuse that bit, it did come off. Um, and same again, you would just thread it through and the mattress is on top. So it just means that you can sleep, we think up to a sort of age six, maybe. Um, so we don't know how much longer we'll, because yeah, we've got another two years in us, I think, with our children and then we'll see we might need to reconfigure. But if we do reconfigure, we can just take out the bottom part of this upright and make it the whole length of this. So we've still got a little while to go in this van. We don't have to give it up too soon. So with this bed, um, I decided to go for a central bench seat that could extend out to become a full six foot length bed. Um, the reason I did this because I wanted to be able to remove the whole thing if I wanted uh, to use this whole space um, for a van. Um, and it's also quite nice to be able to just sit here and look out either side. The bed works by pulling out these two extensions. Comes out the side. Um, I then put an inflatable mattress on the top of this. Um, there's a slight dip here which you can either put in foam but with most mattresses they're hard enough to be able to just sort of go straight over the top. It also means that once the mattress is up here you've got this whole um, space as a bed um, and somewhere to put your, your phone and your keys. This is uh, the table during the day so you can take out the table um, put away the bed and then you've got a seat with a table on either side as well so this is your table and then if I then you have a full camping setup as well so in this van we've got fixed beds, we've got a fixed double on the bottom and it's a full six foot length and on the top um, a single which is five foot eight in, in length. And the reason I went for fixed beds is because the way we really use the van is um, going out and doing a lot of walking and the last thing I ever want to do if I've spent the day on a mountain is to come down and have to make my bed. So the bed is already made we can just easily make something to eat and go straight to bed. So the bunk has been designed 
um, to be removable. It's, it's undoing some bolts. It's not something you do every day. We kind of have to remove a few other things first, but in the long term, if we needed to run it as a two berth, so the top bunk can come out completely. We have the L-shaped large sofa here, which then doubles across as a, as a bed. So, remove books. Put cushions on one side, and then slide this across. That goes across to here. And... There's your bed. Obviously, blankets, etc. but uh, you get the idea. Uh, five inch thick memory foam mattress as well, so it's um, very, very comfortable. All the curtains are complete blackout, so even if the sun's shining, you want a nice lie in, it could be the middle of the night, you wouldn't know, and it's extremely comfortable to, to lie on. And then to put back, just in reverse, take the sausages off, seat back, back is the sofa. So we also have a elevating roof bed, um, which doubles as a second double bed, or if you just want to sleep up there, if there's just the two of you, uh, pull this down, and then you can climb up and sleep up here. Um, when not in use, it goes up and just gives you that extra head height. So the benefit of this van is when the roof is down, um, you can still fit into multi-story car parks and, and the likes, and basically go anywhere a car can go. We've got sleeping for one here. This will be for someone to about the age of about five or six, maybe. And then underneath, we've got a double bed that comes out here. This back bit folds down to make a double bed. And then this bunk here, this folds up to make another bunk here. And they're both about um, six foot one long. All right, so I'm show you how the, how the bed's made. Um, there's, th there's three beds here. First of all, I have to get this table out of the way and put the cushions up. So, this is the double bed. The back of it is just slatted wood like that. It's not attached to anything. When we're driving along, we tend to have it flat down like that so that it doesn't roll around. And all that does is lip onto the side. I get some help. So that's the, that's the double bed. So there's a fixed uh, bunk up here. There's a ladder that goes up to it, which fits in like that. Like that. So there's, a, there's another bunk here as well. So put that over there. A couple of wooden struts. So there's, there's one wooden strap that goes there, there's another wooden strap that goes back, and then the, the pillow goes on top. And then this is just to stop kids rolling out of, of their bed. So it sort of goes in here and ties up at the top. So we went for fixed beds because uh, basically I'd fallen in love with Instagram photos where people were living in transverse beds and with their back doors open to um, the sea and the beach and I was like this, this is the life I want. So we had to have a, a, a transverse bed. Um, people often think like, oh, you, it's impossible to fit in a master, it's really narrow, or, or how, how, does, how does that work? Or well, actually, um, the bed itself is like, I think, five foot five foot eight or I think it's about five foot eight and then these um, sort of cut-ins to the back of the van on both sides mean that the actual stretch out room you've got is six foot two six foot three so it's actually uh, wider than say like a standard sprinter van um, it's just a little bit of creativity to, to get that extra room out of your vans um, and short of paying a heck of a lot of money to have the flares put on the side of, of any van. I think this is a really easy uh, solution just to get extra space in, in both sides. So fixed bed obviously just means there's no faffing um, and you can come straight into bed and also if one of you's had an argument one of you can be in the bed and one of you's you know ignoring the other one on a sofa which is pretty cool. Um, the best thing in my opinion uh, about having a, this sort of setup here is my little Netflix shelf. So you literally put this down here, it's got a little sort of um, shelf bit r r routed out here 
uh, which perfectly fits my Kindle, which means this is like the spot on viewing position. So I'm never gonna miss uh, any, any of like, well to be honest, I'm working my way through suits at the moment. So that is that is just perfect viewing, viewing area. So both of these literally pull out in the middle, pull your cushions out into the middle here. Um, and then you've got a third, a pretty decent third berth. Technically, you can fit two acceptable sized adults uh, in, in here. It has been done. <laughs> so um, it, it, although it is one berth, yeah, four people can sleep in this van. The bed. This is my key feature. It took me quite a long time to design. Uh, I wanted to make it as simple as possible, but with that problem of breaking it down so you can turn it into a sofa with um, a table as well. So, as simple as it can be, this slides out, clicks into place, under here we have a jigsaw puzzle that fits in here, oh, we should have the extra foam, this is that goes into position here. Now we have storage under here and under here for bags etc. So you've got your basic cushions. Now the piece de resistance. Lifting up the flap, pulling out your slats. Da, 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 da. This pillow goes across, this one drops down and there you have your double bed. If these get in the way, and, and you might not want to lay on them, they have little uh, sockets they can just drop into inside the, the woodwork, um, and they just drop in there, drop away at night time, and um, they come out for when you need them for when you're driving. That goes up. This Velcro is on. Whoop. The slats just push away and drop that into their little hole. Cushion comes up. There, pillows back, jigsaw puzzle comes off, under there, lift up, push back, and there we have back into two sort of bench seats. And there is a table that fits here for your dining, and I'll come to that. So, coming to the bunks, this is another. Thing that took me quite a long time to design. Um, I wanted something obviously that could fit um, potentially two more adults. They're just under six foot, um, but also uh, for older children, sort of teenage style. So the, the, the van itself can sleep up to five with a cab bed. So you can sleep four adults and one child or anywhere in that mix, basically. Um, so these bunk beds, very straightforward. They have, um, their own little lighting. Each one has uh, a little noggin with some lighting. This top one has a USB charger as well for the, the maybe older teenager that wants to charge their phone in secret. Um, they have, to stop the children rolling out, they have um, these canvas uh, supports that hook up so they, they go tight and that just gives a little bit more support in case um, someone's going to roll out. Um, underneath the camp beds we have some more storage. So the design of the bunks is a little foot hold here so that child can hold on, put the foot on there and jump up to the top bunk. But also I wanted something a little bit different with these bunks. Um, and so when designing them I, I thought how can we make a bit more space if we don't necessarily want the bunk beds. So what I've done is I've made some big bolts that pull out and down and then the bunk bed slides down into a nice sort of sofa effect so you've got more room when you're cooking or if you want to just hang out sit and read look out the back window um, so you've got like a bench seat sofa um, for that position uh, and then straightforward as it can be again to go back into a bunk just lift up making sure the bolts go all the way in and the handles of the bolts slide back up so no one's going to bump their head and then they're back into the bunk.
I hope you enjoyed that content. Um, if you hadn't noticed, we do have an ebook that we sell, uh, and the link is just in the description. Uh, it contains 160 pages crammed full of practical advice, walkthrough information, electronic schematics, and part lists, which will make your job a lot easier for doing a van conversion and it will save you time and money. Also, we've created special videos for the ebook which enable you to see walkthroughs for how to do loads of things in the van conversion. So that's for water systems, for your electrics, for how to do simple woodwork joints that anyone can do. I really believe that anyone, regardless of their experience, can make a half decent van conversion. Thanks for watching, we really appreciate you watching our content and um, we put a lot of effort to make it interesting, informative and find those cool projects to feature on our channel. Consider subscribing, leave a comment and we'll see you next week.